Welcome to Preform Line Products. The following presentation illustrates the recommended hand application of the preformed splice shunt for use on existing distribution lines which have experienced issues with failing splices. Every splice shunt is equipped with three color marks and an ID flag. One color mark at the center of the splice shunt and one crossover mark each on the left and right hand sides of the splice shunt. All color marks are representative of the conductor range. The ID flag includes the most common conductor size covered by the splice shunt's range in the complete conductor range. Before applying the splice shunt, determine an area on each side of the splice the legs will extend to. Prepare this section of conductor by thoroughly cleaning both sides of the splice with a wire brush in the area where the splice shunt is to be installed. Next, apply liberal amounts of conductive oxide inhibitor to the cleaned area of conductor. Center the first subset over the conductor splice while holding the center section parallel to the splice. Wrap two or three pitches of the first leg of the splice shunt beginning at the crossover mark. Wrap the cabled section of the splice shunt around the splice until the crossover mark lies on the conductor. Wrap the opposite side of the splice shunt to completion. Ensure installation is complete by snapping the rod ends into place on the conductor. For ease of application, the rod ends may be split. Return to the initial leg and wrap to completion, snapping the ends into place on the conductor. Taking the second subset, center it over the splice. Begin leg application on one side of the splice by aligning the crossover mark with the first subset installed. Apply two or three pitches. Wrap the cabled section of the splice shunt around the splice until the crossover mark lies on the conductor and lines up with the crossover mark of the leg previously installed. Wrap this side of the splice shunt to completion, snapping the ends into place. For ease of application, the rod ends may be split. Returning to the previous leg, Finish wrapping the splice shunt on to completion, assuring the rod ends are snapped into place. This completes the application of the PLP splice shunt. This featured preform product is manufactured in the United States and is backed by the experience and field support that PLP has been noted for since 1947. All safety guidelines set forth in the appropriate application procedure for this product must be reviewed and followed prior to installing this product. The installation shown is intended to illustrate the application method of the product only. It is not intended to supersede any standard utility safety guidelines and practices or use of required protective equipment.